Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Maui from Moana. We'll get started in the center of our page with the nose. Let's start with the upper part of the nose with a curve from left to right, going up in the middle, and then down. Just below these points we're going to step down and draw two ovals for the nostrils. Draw one on the left. We're going to fill that in black. Do the same thing on the right. Just below this line, draw another oval. Then we'll fill that in black. Now we're going to connect the nostrils in the middle with a slight curve. Move them down and then up on the right side. We're going to hook around the nostrils. So at the bottom of this oval, we're just going to hook around and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now just on the side of the nostril, we want to draw a curve going down and out for the cheeks. Now we're going to draw a curve for the top of the cheeks just beside the nostril. We're going to go in the opposite direction. Curving up and then down on the left. We'll go up and down on the right. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the cheeks. So we're going to draw two large circles. Starting on the left, we just want to draw a little overlap and come down towards the inside of the nostril. Starting on the left side, we'll curve around. Then just pull that in on top of the cheek. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to draw two large pupils just tucked in on the inside edge of the eye. So we're going to start on the inside edge on the left, and we'll circle around, and then down on top of the cheek. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now on the left side, we're going to draw a small circle for the highlight. And then we're going to go in and color the pupil all in black. Let's go ahead and draw the eyebrows. So on the left side, I'm going to drop this down just above the eye. On the right, we're just going to raise this one up. So starting on the left side, on the outside, we're going to curve up and down on top of the eye, and then we'll pull that up in the middle. We're going to go back to the outside and just thicken this up. So we're just going to taper up, come down, and then right in towards the inside point. We're going to color all that in black. Now on the right side, we're going to raise the eyebrow up. So we're starting on the inside, just lining up the inside point, curving around and up, then over towards the right side. We take the inside point and again tapering it so it gets thicker along the top and then down towards the outside. Let's go ahead and color that in black. I'm just going to accentuate the nose bridge here. So right where the eye meets the eyebrow, I'm just going to curve in and then down. On the right side, just below the eyebrow, we're just going to curve in and then down. Let's move down below the nose and draw in the mouth. So we're going to leave a little overlap on the cheeks, starting on the left side. We'll curve down and then up on the right side. Let's add the upper lip. So we're going to start on the left side here. We're going to curve up in the middle round it out and then come down and flatten out on the right side. So we're going up in the middle, down, and then just flatten it out. For the bottom lip, we're going to step up to the outside, curve down, and then pull that up on the right. Just below the lip, I just want to draw a little curve just to accentuate the chin. Okay, so now that we've got the face, let's go ahead and draw on the side of the cheek down towards the chin. So the left side of the eye, right out here, we're going to curve around the cheek, Come down and in towards the center. We're going to work our way back up on the right side. Going out, curving around, and up towards the side of the eye. From here, we want to curve up the inner hairline. So blending this up towards a curve. Do the same thing on the right side to the same height. Now we'll take these points, round it out in towards the widow's peak, a little point right in the middle. So we're going to curve around, in towards the middle up on the right, over the eyebrow, 
and then down on the right side. Now before I draw on the hair, I want to draw on the body and the arm because he's going to be holding that large fish hook. So let's start with the body first. So on the sides here, we're going to step down and draw a curve going out and down on the side. Stepping down, curving around the waist. On the right side, we'll do the same thing, curving around. We're going to connect those two points with a curve. Down in the middle, back up. We're going to step up and draw that same curve just for the rope of the skirt. Now along this curve, I'm just going to draw a series of little hooks spaced out just to make it look like a rope. And then underneath the chin, we're going to add that necklace. So we start with the bone in the middle, a little curve like this. We're going to take those two points and curve down towards the center point. We're going to add a couple teeth on the side. So right here, we're going to draw a little curve. On the left side, we're going to hook it down. We'll hook it back up towards the inside of that curve. On this side, we're going to do the opposite. Curve around the top. On the inside, we'll curve down to a point it back up towards the outside. Now let's add the little rope in behind. So from this point we're just going to curve and tuck it underneath the head. Do the same thing on the right side. We're going to connect these two points with a curve. Do the same thing on the right. Now we just want to thicken that up so we're going to step down and just thicken up just below those curves. And then in the teeth I just want to draw a little X near the top. I'm going to leave the tattoo to the last, so let's go over to the right side and draw in this arm's hanging down. So about halfway along this curve, I'm going to curve out and then down. We're going to round out the thumb with a little half circle. And then at the end of the thumb, we're just going to draw a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're just going to swirl around the bracket. Step down, draw another curve for the second finger. Now the third finger is going to go all the way up underneath the chin. So curving around pulling that up underneath the chin. Let's move over to the left side and draw the arm holding the giant fish hook. So we're going to start with the shoulder first. So lining up the right side towards the left, we're going to curve across and over towards the left, towards the wrist. From here I'm going to draw on the thumb. So we're going to swirl around and then just pull that back up. We're going to draw on the palm, so curving back in towards the body. Now the hook is going to be right in the middle behind the thumb and the fingers. So we're going to draw the fingers lined up over on the left side here. So we'll start with a little oval, leave a little space between the thumb and the finger. Draw a second little oval, the second finger, and then one more just below it. Now we can go ahead and tuck the handle in behind the fingers. So we start below this finger and just draw an angle coming down towards the bottom. On the bottom part of the palm, we're going to angle inwards, so it's coming in towards each other. We're going to close off the bottom here with a curve. Now at the bottom, I just want to draw a little ball. It's almost like a little oval. Go all the way around. Now we're going to go up to the top and draw the big hook going all the way around on top of the head. So we're going to start with this inside line first. We're going to curve out and then hook this back in. So curving it out and then hooking that back in. From this point, I'm just going to angle a straight line going over towards the left. I'm going to continue this curve over towards the tip of the hook. I'm going to cross like that. I'm going to draw the outside edge of the hook. I'm going to go up and over towards the left. It's right about there. We're going to hook this back because there's a little barb on the side. Draw a straight line coming out. Now with this hook, I want it to go a little bit wider around the middle and then come down towards the handle. Go out, go wider, pull it in. I'm just going to aim in towards the top of the finger and pull it down. Now let's add the rope grip. So just above the hand, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. This will be our starting point for the ropes. We're going to just draw a series of curves all the way across in between the fingers, below the thumb, and then below the finger at the bottom. Now we're just going to change directions. We want to just angle these ones with a straight angled line coming down. And as we get near the bottom, I'm going to change direction again. So right here we're just going to curve like that. Down here, we're going to add three little curves for the knot at the bottom. Now let's go ahead and finish off the bottom part of the arm. So from this point of the wrist, I just want to curve around the wrist and then back in behind this handle. This will be the bottom part of the palm. And then we're going to move up and curve this in behind the body. 
Let's go back to the body here and draw in that grass skirt. So I'm gonna start with the first layer of the knees. Starting on the hip, I'm gonna curve down and in. We're gonna pull this back up in the opposite direction, going up. I'm gonna do the same thing all the way across the body. I wanna make sure that I leave myself enough space to evenly space these out. So I'm gonna go right up in the middle. Draw one on the right side here. And then the last one, I'm just gonna tuck it up against the side of the hip. Now in the center here, I just wanna draw that little seam. So starting underneath the belt, I'm just gonna curve it down. And we don't have to go all the way towards the bottom tip. We're just gonna draw a little curve, just to accentuate the leaf. Now we're gonna draw a second layer in behind. So from this hip, I'm gonna curve it out. Now I'm gonna pull this up just left of that point, going up. I'm gonna draw another leaf in between these two leaves. Coming down, up. I'm gonna continue this all the way across. And then on the hip, this is gonna go in behind the thumb, come down, and then pull this up underneath. Again, from the center here, it's gonna curve the lines coming down from the center seam of the leaf. Let's add one final layer in the bottom here. So in between, we're just gonna draw that little curve. Work our way across, just to close off that little gap. And then again, just gonna draw a little line from the center seam of the leaf. On the side here, I just wanna curl one up, go out, and we'll pull that back in towards the waist. Now let's tuck the legs in underneath the grass skirt. So we're gonna leave a gap in the middle. On the left side, we're gonna curve down and out toward the left, down and out towards the right. We're gonna curve the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we're gonna to curve across. Do the same thing on the right side. Now on the left side, I just wanna curl around the toe. Just curling around. We're gonna draw another curve to the top of the foot. Now we're gonna hook this back up in towards the hip, but underneath the skirt. Along here, we're just gonna add some toes. It's almost like a little C shape. Going all the way down towards the bottom. We're gonna add four toes, and then the final toe will make it a little bit bigger. Do the same thing on the right. Just hooking around. Draw a curve going slightly upwards. And we're gonna to aim towards the hip underneath the grass skirt. Now we're gonna flip these toes around on this side. Just drawing a series of little hooks. On the fourth toe, it's gonna to make this a little bit bigger. Now that we have the body and the hook in place, we can go ahead and draw in the hair in behind. So in the middle, we're gonna step up and draw in a point. We're gonna work our way with a series of little waves all the way around on the left side. So start in the middle, I'm gonna go up, down, and just wave this around in behind the hook. This is gonna come down to the side, so you'll see it a little bit down here in behind the hand. Now we're gonna go over towards the right side. Going up, down, and just following this wave all the way around and then just pull it in behind the arm. I'm gonna add the little ears on the side here. So we start right where the cheek meets the side of the head. I'm gonna curve it down and out. Do the same thing on the right side. About halfway up, we're gonna hook it back in behind the head, just for the lower ear lobe. Let's add some texture to the hair. So from the center, I'm just gonna wiggle a line going out towards the left and the right. We'll step over, throw another wave, we're just gonna continue these little curls all the way across, maybe down below the cheek. Just make the hair look really curly. And now the final thing we're gonna do is add in the tattoos. And we're gonna simplify this quite a bit. So right in the middle here, we draw a little half oval from left to right, going around. We're gonna separate the chest. So on the left side, we're gonna curve up in the middle, down on the right, and then just flatten out towards the side of the body. On the sides here, Draw a little curve. Now you can draw pretty much any kind of detail you like in here. I'm just gonna go with what feels natural. So I'm just gonna surround this the inside. Let's draw a little circle in the belly button area and fill that in black. I'm gonna draw a little star, little shape here. So we're gonna go up in the middle, down, we'll fill that in black. We'll go out towards the left, back down, out towards the right, and down. Let's add a little thick trim here, fill that in black. Same thing on the right side. Gonna add some little loops along the chest line. So from here we go up, down, we draw a small one here, we'll go a big one in the middle, and just basically mirroring what I'm doing on the left towards the right. And we'll fill these in black. And you can go 
well, as detailed as you like with these tattoos. I'm just gonna keep this really simple, just to fill up the space. Now, okay, I'm just gonna trace this out. I'm just going along the top, just following the curves, all the way around. Let's go to the right arm and draw some detail here. So I'm just gonna separate the wrist, go up, do that again. I'm gonna draw a little zigzag along the top, and then fill those in black. another trim just above it and then we're gonna draw a little wave so he's got this little wave detail do that a few times and then we'll go in and just fill these in black a little arrow on the side zigzag that I did. And fill those in black. Curve. Thicken that up. And then I'll draw a little wave. Draw one more wave here. In black. And fill in the little gaps on the side of the ribs here. It's curving the inside. I'm just following the curves of the tattoo and just filling up the little empty spaces as I go. Let's move down towards the legs. I'm going to start with the ankle. A little curve across like that. Let's draw some hoops this time instead of the zigzag. Draw another curve just above it. I'm going to fill in the top area in black. detail but that's pretty much it there we have it there's chibi maui from moana i hope you enjoyed today's lesson make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon